Bravery is a virtue possessed by every dog, but not all of them have the physical capabilities of being heroes. Some dogs will fearlessly confront every threat they encounter. They might even face a bear, an animal three times bigger than them. Which are these dogs? Let's find out. Before we start, what do you think? If a brown bear would fight a Bengal tiger, which one would win and why? Let us know in the comments and the best opinions will be penned. A dog shows his courage through his attitude, his reaction to threats, and his behavior. Fearless dogs are primarily recognized from their physical appearance as they're confident, they walk with dignity, they have erect ears, and a serious facial expression. However, bravery is mostly proved through a particular behavior. A dog that jumps in the water to save his owner without thinking twice certainly can be considered a hero. There are countless cases of canine bravery, acts for instance like the dog of Alexander the Great, the dog of Napoleon, or the dog called Stubby who saved four soldiers when they were attacked with a grenade during a military mission. One of the breeds that has proved its bravery since thousands of years is the Borbul, brave enough to face even a lion. Besides having a well-built physique that helps him to confront every animal, this gigantic dog also has strong character, which makes him one of the bravest dogs out there who fears nothing. For years, Borbul has helped the farmers of North Africa to protect their homes from hyenas, lions, and other wild beasts. This breed has an impressive look, confident movements, and is capable of scaring away intruders with a single bark. Their majestic appearance is enough for these dogs to intimidate anyone, but even so, when it's necessary, he might attack and triumph with very little effort. The bite of his powerful jaws will easily penetrate in the muscles, tendons, and sometimes even the bones of his enemy. Stories according to which this dog has killed the king of the jungle might seem a little exaggerated, however a borble is for sure brave enough to face a lion. Congo, brave enough to face even a bear. This breed shows strong instincts since a young age. Congos were initially used as protection from wolves, bears, and jackals, whereas later they were transported into the African countries because of their intimidating size and their skills to protect livestock from lions, cheetahs, and native big cats. This breed proves its courage, especially with its independent behavior, since in particular situations when they sense a threat, they won't expect instructions from their owner, but will react immediately. These dogs will approach their enemy in three phases. First, they'll bark, and if this doesn't work, they will roar, until finally they will attack the predator directly in his throat or hind legs to disable him. Congo has the strongest bite force of all breeds that can reach up to 743 PSI, although the average bite force of a brown bear might be up to 975 PSI. However, what gives advantage to this dog while confronting a bear is his intimidating physique and its distinct bark that easily might scare away the bear without need to get in a fight. Illyrian Shepherd, brave enough to face even a tiger. Besides protecting livestock, this ancient breed is courageous enough to participate in wars as it's known that in addition to their use as herding dogs in the mountain areas, they were also military dogs for the Yugoslavian army. This dog will never attack first, but if provoked, he won't hesitate to fight even bigger animals than himself. Besides the size, a strong protective weapon of this dog is his thick coat that secures him from scratches and wounds during the fight. To protect his herd or his owner, an Illyrian Shepherd will confront without fear even a tiger and will fight to death. Tosa Ainu, brave enough to face even a leopard. These fearless dogs are equivalent to sumo wrestlers in their homeland precisely because they've proved bravery and courage since the beginning of their history as fighting dogs. Tosa Inu displays these qualities throughout his size, his physique, and his confident attitude. These dogs quickly attack and can fight for hours and don't bark nor make noise of any kind during a battle since rules of fighting in Japan required absolute silence. Because of their origin and previous use, this breed has a high tolerance to pain and the burst with which he might attack has no limits. Although having a bite force up to 556 PSI, Tosa Inu will attack even a leopard without hesitation. Dago Argentino, brave enough to face even a puma. 
These big dogs will create the impression of a brave dog since the first encounter. Strong enough to defeat large prey and durable enough to confront harsh environments, these dogs were used for hunting strong wild beasts like pumas and wild boars. However, their bravery is a result of their genetics, as the instincts of their ancestor, the Cordoba fighting dog, are retained even to this day. This breed is aware of its strength and behaves confidently, but real courage shows better when he attacks. When a Dogo Argentino smells the scent of a puma, he raises his ears, looks directly to his enemy, runs fast towards him, and attacks. Usually he doesn't kill puma, instead he waits for the owner to come and take the prey. Although in some cases a puma will feel the teeth of this dog to his bones. Pitbull, brave enough to face even a fighting bull. These dogs were used in bull baiting since the beginning of the 19th century, and from this practice their descendants inherited the courage of not surrendering to big enemies. Pit bulls have become the image of bravery, especially during the First and Second World War, for the courage they showed in every situation in which they protected their owners or their soldier buddies. The strong jaws and the determination of these dogs have to win every battle. This makes this breed a fatal confrontation for every animal who might attack, no matter how big it might be. As it is shown from his use in the past, a pit bull might attack a bull for hours until he collapses from wounds or exhaustion. Cane Corso, brave enough to face even a wild boar. This breed is prepared to confront every struggle or threat that he encounters, and his courageous nature is inherited from his Roman ancestors, who were used in the arenas of blood sport for fighting gladiators or wild animals like lions or bears. Although it might look like an indifferent dog, a cane corso reacts only in those particular situations when he senses a real threat, and in these cases, he won't hesitate to use all his strength to defeat the opponent. In a confrontation with a wild boar, Cane Corso triumphs because of the strength of his jaws that can be up to 700 psi, ranking him the third breed with the strongest bite force in the world. Alibi, brave enough to face even a wolf. These dogs have evolved through natural selection, and the life in the wilderness has equipped them with enough strength and courage to face even the most dangerous enemies of Central Asia, like wolves, bears, or even the snow leopard. Alibi has excelled in his job as a livestock guardian for more than five millenniums, therefore they were given the word Volkadov as a nickname, which translates as wolf crusher. Although a single alibi might not win a fight with a pack of wolves, but a group of these dogs fearlessly will confront wolves and succeed. Their use in Mongolian wars side to side with Genghis Khan and in the most brutal of sports as dogfighting proves that these dogs won't back down until they kill or get killed. Rottweiler, brave enough to face even coyotes. The courage of a Rottweiler can be seen from his facial expression, his physique, and his intimidating attitude that he inherits from his powerful ancestor, Molossus. Their tendency to be fast and full of energy can kill a lot of large wild animals. Because he's bigger and stronger than a coyote, a Rottweiler is capable of killing it and won't hesitate facing neither a pack of coyotes despite that he might get wounded. When these wild animals become a threat to this dog and intrude in their territory, Rottweiler will boldly confront them and fight till the last breath. Presa Canario, brave enough to face even a wild dog. These dogs can be included in the group of the breeds that don't need to bark to intimidate an opponent because of their appearance and also their bravery that they proved during the history in those times when they were used not just for killing stray dogs, but in dog fighting as well. However, initially, the main role of this breed was the protection of the flocks from wild boars, feral dogs, and other wild animals, tasks that they did effectively and without fear. Even for the modern Presa Canario, who has retained the protective instincts and his courage, the confrontation with any opponent will be child's play. How brave is your dog, and which wild beast would he be capable of confronting? Let us know in the comments. I, 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 I,